Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Celebrity Legacy. Recently, we've received some heartbreaking news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memories. Additionally, we'll recap the stars we've recently lost. Before we start, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a oh, thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. So let's start. Barbara Taylor Bradford was a renowned British-American novelist celebrated for her sweeping, character-driven sagas. Born on May 10, 1933, in Leeds, England, she started her career as a typist for the Yorkshire Evening Post before transitioning into journalism. Her innate storytelling ability led her to become a successful columnist and editor. Bradford's debut novel, A Woman of Substance, 1979, catapulted her to global fame, selling over 30 million copies and becoming one of the best-selling books of all time. It marked the beginning of her widely acclaimed Emma Hart series. Over her prolific career, she authored more than 35 novels, translated into 90 languages, with sales exceeding 90 million copies worldwide. Several of her novels, including To Be the Best and Hold the Dream, were adapted into successful television miniseries. Bradford became a U.S. citizen in 1992 and was honored with an OBE for her contributions to literature. She passed away on 24th of November 2024 at the age of 91, following a short illness, leaving behind an unparalleled literary legacy that continues to inspire generations of readers worldwide. Chuck Woolery was an iconic American game show host and actor, celebrated for his charismatic presence and sharp wit. Born on March 16, 1941, in Ashland, Kentucky, Woolery initially pursued a career in music, achieving modest success with the pop duo The Avant Garde and later as a solo artist. His transition to television proved to be his true calling. Woolery became a household name as the original host of Wheel of Fortune from 1975 to 1981. His charming demeanor set the tone for the show's enduring success. He further cemented his legacy with hosting roles on Love Connection, 1983-1994, Scrabble, 1984-1990, and Lingo. Known for his quick humor and engaging style, he was a staple of American television for decades. In addition to hosting, Woolery dabbled in acting, appearing in films and TV series like The Treasure of Jamaica Reef, 1975, and Cold Feet, 1989. Chuck Woolery passed away at his home in Texas on November 23, 2024, at the age of 83, from natural causes. His passing marked the end of an era for fans of classic game shows, leaving behind a legacy of entertainment and countless fond memories. Alice Brock was a beloved American artist, author, and inspiration behind the iconic song Alice's Restaurant Massacre by Arlo Guthrie. Born on February 28, 1941, in New York City, Brock gained recognition as a free-spirited creative personality whose work transcended mediums. In the mid-1960s, she and her husband owned a small restaurant in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, which became the setting for Guthrie's humorous and poignant anti-war anthem. The song, released in 1967, immortalized her generosity and quirky charm, cementing her place in counterculture history. Brock later pursued a career in visual arts and writing, showcasing her vibrant paintings and publishing cookbooks, including the Alice's Restaurant Cookbook, blending her culinary expertise with her artistic flair. She became a cultural icon and a symbol of community, kindness, and individuality. Alice Brock passed away on November 21, 2024, at the age of 83, leaving behind a legacy of creativity, compassion, and an indelible mark on American music and culture. Paul Thiel was an American actor celebrated for his work in television, film, and theater. Thiel discovered his passion for acting during high school and later honed his craft at the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, earning a degree in drama. T 
Thiel's career took off with roles in regional theater productions, where his dynamic performances earned critical acclaim. He transitioned to television, appearing in series such as The Vampire Diaries and Sleepy Hollow, where he showcased his range and ability to bring depth to his characters. In film, he was best known for his supporting role in The Fifth Wave, 2016, which highlighted his talent on a larger scale. Beyond acting, Thiel was known for mentoring young artists and advocating for arts education. He remained active in local theater communities and often collaborated on independent film projects. Paul Thiel tragically passed away from pancreatic cancer at the age of 39. His untimely death left a void in the entertainment world, but his legacy endures through his impactful performances and dedication to his craft. Andy Paley was an American songwriter, record producer, and musician renowned for his versatility and collaborations across various music genres. Paley's musical journey began as a member of the Paley Brothers, a power pop duo he formed with his brother Jonathan. They gained critical acclaim in the 1970s, blending catchy melodies with heartfelt lyrics. As a producer and songwriter, Paley worked with a wide range of artists, including Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys, Madonna, and Patti Smith. Paley also contributed to film and television soundtracks, notably for SpongeBob SquarePants and The Ren and Stimpy Show, showcasing his knack for creating timeless and engaging compositions. Throughout his career, Paley was celebrated for bridging the gap between vintage rock sounds and contemporary pop. His influence on the music scene remained significant, inspiring countless musicians and producers. Andy Paley passed away in November 2024 at the age of 72. His death marked the loss of a creative force whose contributions to music and entertainment spanned decades. His legacy lives on through his extensive catalog and the artists he inspired. Michael Villela was a talented American actor known for his work in horror and independent films, carved a niche in the entertainment industry with his captivating performances. Villela developed a passion for acting early in life, eventually studying theater and pursuing a career on screen. He gained significant recognition for his role as the antagonist in the cult classic The Slumber Party Massacre, 1982, where he played the deranged Russ Thorne. His performance in the film, marked by an eerie presence and chilling intensity, remains a standout in the slasher genre. Villela's ability to embody unsettling characters earned him acclaim and a dedicated fan base within the horror community. Though best known for his horror roles, Villela also appeared in several independent films and television projects throughout the 1980s and 1990s, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Michael Villela passed away on November 12, 21.4, at the age of 77. His death was attributed to natural causes. Fans and colleagues mourned his passing, celebrating his contributions to film and his lasting impact on horror cinema. Tony Todd was an acclaimed American actor celebrated for his commanding presence and memorable performances across film, television, and theater. Born on December 4, 1954, in Washington, D.C., Todd trained at the University of Connecticut and the Eugene O'Neill National Theater Institute, honing his craft and developing a powerful stage presence. Todd gained widespread recognition for his role as the terrifying yet charismatic Candyman in the 1992 horror classic of the same name. Beyond horror, Todd appeared in numerous films, including The Rock, 1996, and Final Destination series, as well as television shows like Star Trek, The Next Generation, and The Flash. He also lent his iconic voice to video games and animated series. Known for his professionalism and generosity, Todd was deeply respected in the industry. Off-screen, he supported aspiring actors and frequently participated in charitable events. Tony Todd passed away on November 6, 2024, 
at the age of 69. His death was mourned by fans and colleagues alike, who remembered him as a trailblazer in genre cinema and a versatile actor with a career spanning over four decades. Bob Love was an esteemed American professional basketball player, known for his remarkable skills and inspirational journey. Born on December 8, 1942, in Bastrop, Louisiana, Love overcame early challenges, including poverty, to achieve greatness on the court. He played college basketball at Southern University, where his talent flourished, earning him a spot in the NBA. Love began his professional career with the Cincinnati Royals in 1965, but gained prominence with the Chicago Bulls, where he played from 1968 to 1976. A three-time NBA All-Star, Love was known for his scoring prowess, averaging over 20 points per game for six consecutive seasons. His Notchker 10 jersey was retired by the Bulls in recognition of his contributions. His story of resilience inspired countless individuals. Bob Love passed away after a long battle with cancer in Chicago on November 18, 2024, at the age of 81. His death marked the end of a legacy defined not only by basketball excellence, but also by determination and perseverance. Janice Page was a beloved American actress and singer whose career spanned over seven decades. Born on September 16, 1922, in Tacoma, Washington, Page moved to Hollywood in the early 1940s. She began her career as a vocalist before transitioning to acting, where her charm and talent made her a standout. Page's breakout role came with the musical Hollywood Canteen, 1944, followed by notable appearances in Of Human Bondage, 1946, and Romance on the High Seas, 1948. A versatile performer, she excelled in comedies, dramas, and musicals, earning acclaim on both screen and stage. On Broadway, her performance in The Pajama Game, 1954, was particularly memorable, showcasing her singing and acting abilities. In addition to film and theater, Page appeared on numerous television shows, including General Electric Theater and All in the Family. Her elegant presence and dynamic talent made her a cherished figure in the entertainment world. Janice Page passed away peacefully in 2024 at the age of 101. She left behind a legacy of iconic performances, a dedication to her craft, and a body of work that continues to inspire. Adan Canto was a talented Mexican actor known for his work in television and film. Born on December 5, 1981, in Ciudad Acuña, Coahuila, Mexico, he began his career as a musician before transitioning to acting in the early 2000s. Canto's breakout role came in the acclaimed TV series The Following, 2013, where he played Paul Torres. This performance led to more prominent roles in Hollywood, including appearances in series like Designated Survivor as Aaron Shore and Narcos. His magnetic screen presence made him a favorite among viewers and critics alike. In film, Canto showcased his versatility with roles in movies like X-Men, Days of Future Past 2014, where he portrayed Sunspot and the indie drama Before Tomorrow 2014. Throughout his career, he was praised for his ability to bring depth and charisma to a wide range of characters. Adan Canto passed away from appendiceal cancer at age 42. His death shocked fans and the entertainment industry. Canto left a legacy of memorable performances and was celebrated as a trailblazer for Mexican actors in Hollywood. Today, breaking news. Morgan Freeman, a legendary actor and Hollywood icon, has recently been the subject of death rumors circulating on social media. However, these rumors have been debunked as there is no credible confirmation of his passing. Freeman, known for his dignified presence and distinctive voice, continues to be celebrated for his monumental contributions to cinema. Born on June 1, 1937, in Memphis, Tennessee, Freeman's acting career spans over five decades. After early struggles, 
he gained fame with The Electric Company, a children's television series in the 1970s. His breakout role came with the 1987 crime drama Street Smart, earning him his first Academy Award nomination. He solidified his status as a leading actor with iconic roles in Driving Miss Daisy, 1989, and Glory, 1989. Freeman's portrayal of wise, authoritative characters became his hallmark, as seen in The Shawshank Redemption, 1994, one of the most beloved films of all time. His Academy Award-winning performance in Million Dollar Baby, 2004, showcased his unparalleled talent. Other notable credits include Seven, 1995, Bruce Almighty, 2003, and The Dark Knight Trilogy. Freeman's deep, commanding voice has also made him a sought-after narrator in documentaries and commercials. Despite the baseless death rumors, Freeman remains an influential figure in entertainment. Beyond acting, he is a philanthropist and advocate for social issues. Freeman's enduring legacy is a testament to his talent, resilience, and immense impact on the world of film.